Okay, hello Capricorns. How you doing? This is Momo. I'm back. I'm doing you guys um reading. We're gonna see what's going on in your energy. Um sit back, relax, let your mind flow. All right, gain some insight on something that could help you, you know, get the enlightenment on something that could help you, um, you know, to make a decision or how to move forward in the situation. Hopefully you could get some information from here that could help you okay so like share hit the notification button to be notified when i post the video you guys again all right thank you much i really appreciate it let's get this started okay capricorn's energy oh my goodness that slipped right out of my hand something might have slipped between your fingers or you're worried about something's gonna slip between between your fingers or this is somebody in your energy maybe something you lost a bunch of something money or something like that um the high priestess is here if something just fell or some news is going to just fall upon you so quick unexpectedly um the high priestess is here that's virgo pisces um energy Ace of Pentacles is here. I don't know why I'm thinking Sagittarius. Um, the Nine of Cups is here. Cancer energy. We have your energy. Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we have the Page of Cups, Pisces. We have the Seven of Swords, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Keeper of Wands. That's the King of Wands, Aries energy. We have the Keeper of Cups, which is the King of Cups, Cancer energy. We have the Four of Wands, Sag Leo, Aries, Fire energy, Four of Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, oh goodness, let's see. So, it's very important that you use your intuition. The High Priestess is here. Okay, concerning an offer that's coming into you. Okay, this is a great offer coming into you, but you need to use your intuition. Make sure it's legit. Um, Nine of Cups. This there could be somebody that's holding on to somebody else, not letting go of a situation. Hmm. Or this is a victory. Or it's important that you use your intuition so you can get the victory in a situation. Something that'll take you long term. Um, Page of Cups is here. Um, this, yeah, the, this going to be some good news, okay? Maybe this is from somebody that you've been holding on to. Somebody you ain't been wanting to let go of. This offer is coming in from this person. Somebody you have not been wanting to let go of. Or somebody that's not trying to let go of you. Somebody you may see just as a friend. You may just have a friendship with this person. They could be coming, this could be coming along with an apology as well. Seven of Swords, because they deceived you in some form or fashion. So they could be coming in to apologize to you as well. Or this is a whole separate person coming in to you to apologize, a friend, somebody that you have a friendship with. Um, Keeper of Wands is here. Mm -hmm. so there's a lot of passion that you have for somebody like or this is how they feel about you there's no other sexually that you know like you're the best you're number one when it comes to the passion and that's why they're holding on to you this person they could have aries in their chart or you have aries in your chart this person has water in their chart oh pisces so it is the same person And they could have some air as well. So they have water, they have which is Pisces, and they have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. Whoever this person is coming into you. And there's no other. They're very sexual. They they have a lot of passion for you. Um, they have a lot of confidence as well. This person. Um, 
this could be a job offer too coming in to you. You could have a, if this is separate, you could have a job offer coming in, a supervisor coming, like some type of promotion because somebody sees you as very dependable, intelligent, smart. Um, you may have to travel. Okay, you may have to travel. Um, this this offer may be something that if you're budgeting, you'll no longer have to budget. Um, somebody sees the value in you. That's why they want you. It could be somebody. Maybe you're planning on leaving a job, and somebody's gonna try to hold on to you and offer you a higher position or something of that nature. Hmm. Yeah, this is a promotion. If it's if it's a um, person, okay. If, on the other side, if this is somebody that's highly attracted to you, they see you as being very loving and kind. Okay, then four one, you could have used to be married to this person, or this person sees you as marriage material. They see you knowing how to handle your money. You know, knowing how to budget, you know. Um, they could be very codependent type person too, liking you to give them money, spend money on them of that nature. Okay. Um, the six of wands is here. But um you're gonna charge for it in a victory, okay? In the other situation, if this is a person, they want a victory at charging for it with you in a situation where they see you as marriage material, okay? So they want may want to move forward in a marriage situation, okay? And if this is somebody you wanted to be with, you are going to get the victory in this situation and a victory in this promotion as well. Um, Capricorn's energy. Tell me Capricorn's energy, please. Okay, the Ten of Wands. Okay, somebody was a burden to you or you were a burden to them and they released it in the past. Or there's a burden maybe you need to release. Um, Fire energy. Or they released a burden and they're coming in to you, coming back to you or coming in to you. Capricorn's energy. A seven of cups. Okay. This person may come in bearing you gifts, or they feel like you could give them everything they want and need. You you will be able to fulfill them and all they, their wants and needs. Six of cups. This is a soulmate, somebody from your past. Water energy here. Could just been a friend. Turn lover situation. Capricorn's energy. They think about you a lot. You stay on this person's mind. The hermit is here. Yeah, even though they're not in communication with you or even when they're not around you or speaking with you, you're on their mind. They're always thinking about you. Okay? They you, they may feel like they have a spiritual connection to you. Um, you could have went through a tower with this person, Scorpio, or they're going through some type of tower. If you're not hearing from this person, that's why they're going through something. Some type of tower moment. Um, Capricorn's energy. Capricorn's energy. Um, the moon card, and they're keeping it to themselves. They're not sharing this with you. What they're going through. They could be very depressed at this time. Oh my goodness, be careful. You might need to contact this person. They could be thinking about ending their life. The Eight of Pentacles or a cycle has ended somewhere. Or you ended a cycle with this person, something. Or they ended a cycle with someone and they're embarking on a new cycle or wanting to end, embark on a new cycle with you. Or they want to rebuild stability with you. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. Okay, or maybe this person, the moon cards, this they were very emotional about this tower that they went through, so they're not dealing with anybody at this time. But um, this cycle ended. 
where they were. Okay, so or when it ends, they're gonna come into you wanting to rebuild stability with you. Um, Capricorns in it. Um, Seven of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they're looking into all kinds of options, how to be able to rebuild with you, how to get the stability off the ground with you, or working at a partnership of stability. Okay. Um, The Keeper of Swords. So this is the King of Swords, Libra Energy. They're going to speak some truth to you. They're going to express the truth to you, expose what they want. Okay. This person going to come in and they may fight for it. They may fight for it as well. Stand their ground. Not give up. If you turn them down. Capricorn's energy. Let me Capricorn's energy to you. Capricorn's energy. Capricorn's energy. The fool card, yeah, they're gonna fight for another chance with you. They're gonna stand the ground till you give them another chance. Um, judgment is here. This person is really wanting to reconcile till you reconcile with them. They're gonna keep bothering you. Hangman, they're gonna sit and wait. They're gonna sit and wait until you reconcile with them. Three of Swords is here. Um, this person's at a distance from you, or um. They're going to be brokenhearted. If you turn them down, they're going to, they are really going to be brokenhearted. Okay? Um, this is going to be a struggle for them mentally and physically because they really do want to reunite with you, Three of Cups. So it's going to take its toll on them. They are going to be heartbroken, okay? But you may not notice it. Um Queen of Pentacles is here. They're highly attracted to you. They truly see you as their equal. You're beautiful. You're fine to them, whether you're male or female. You smell good, look good. They love the way you dress, you know, things of that nature. Um, they see you as very nurturing, you know, to them. You know, you're very nurturing, caring towards them. All right. And that's why they want to reconcile with you, reunite. And they're not going to give up. They're just going to wait until you open up to them. Okay, maybe um, you're not because your heart was broken. You know, you went through a mental and physical struggle in your past, you know. Yeah, but this person truly wants to reunite with you, Capricorn. Well, I'm out. This is your reading. You guys be good. I hope I can give you guys some insight on something, help you guys. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Until next time, love you guys. I'm out. Thank you for tuning in.